this crazy air mobility Mika now has on top of very good oppressing buns. Mm-hmm. This is something else. And then Phonon! Oh, Phonon got hit with meanest nerf. Oh. Oh. Did we just get hit with this one? Uh, yep. Looks like we got our first disconnect. No big deal, though. Well, you know, that Absolutely happens in really really net play. So. But you were saying Phonon got hit with the nerf as well. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Um. So what I was trying to explain is real quick. Um. Phonon swings six frames. From five frames. Mm-hmm. Mika has faster buns than Phonon. So tr- in translation, in short, Mika basically just left on all. What? What in the shenanigans is going on? So basically, you're saying, like, on paper, Mika should be the faster buttons, uh, able to kind of just stuff a lot of what Phonon has going. So it's going to be about yeah. Mika getting in that close range, right? And, uh, you know, stopping any of those setup options that normally we see Phonon just dominate a lot of the screen previously in uh, Unist. Uh, Uniclear is a little bit different for Phonon here, especially with a lot of her aerial mobility now, too. Uh, so it'll be and the damage scaling on 4B. That, that is another thing that just came to my attention, is the fact that 4B's damage scaling is a lot different now. Mm-hmm. Um, on top of that, there's just a lot of stuff Phonon has to do now in order to contest Mika at that range. Right. So, it's just going to be a lot tougher of a matchup for uh, Phonon. Right, and I think the biggest matchup is that I think Phonon took the Ethernet cable out of the entire uh, setup out here for Noom, and or excuse me for Funkyard here, and just not allowing Funkyard to play, which is honestly that's Noom. that's quite the play here. That's the Galaxy Noom. brave play. That's the Galaxy. <laughs> and, so you need to tell me Noom three seed the Ethernet cable out of Funkyard's router. Right, you actually think it's a whip. You know, we always thought that that was a part of the game, but really, Phonon just stole an Ethernet cable from Funkyard. It honestly... Is that uh, why it's so good? Is because she's slapping you with the Wi-Fi? It makes so much more sense. Right, excellent. It, it's honestly an excellent move uh, by Noom here. Uh, you know, honestly, I, there's got to be a way that uh, maybe uh, Funkyard is going to be able to, to equip I don't know, a better uh, 5G connection, install a tower out there. Uh, I mean, if anyone's got the speed to do it, Mika can do it. But the right, attention exactly. span, that's questionable. She'll be able to uh, midnight, or excuse oh. me. Uh, we got a set? Okay, here we go. Yeah, we Mika will be able to rocket set. herself up to the top of the 5G tower and she'll be able to install whatever she needs to do. So. Like put one gauntlet on and then the other oh, gauntlet nice. and get like perfect signal. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. So here we go. Game one here in this set. Oh, nice. Jumping for the air already. And that full screen situation is going to be ideal for Noom here to keep Mika out. It's going to be super important. Just building up that grid as well. But, oh. yep. See, now that was a weird part. Off. That was a weird decision on Noom's part to just sort of... I understand she's trying to control or they're trying to control the... Um, Sort of neutral, but you gotta really gotta keep in mind these kinds of matchups. Grid is a valuable, valuable resource, and they sort of have to have this balancing act. Because hold on, boots with grid. You see, another thing too is real quick, quick analysis. There's a lot of these shields being thrown out, and you did have access to change them. I'm looking to see the adaptation of you going in and using CS on the shield for break. Denying, denying Esquire that sort of access to get grid. Oh. So there we go, Midnight. Back but I mean, look CS. at this. Yeah, close guy. I was going to say, look at the full screen domination out here from Hume. And now, finally, Funkyards find the gap to close it in. Ooh, look at the light deficit now. Ooh! That's a button that went out a little bit too early there. Hawk to the end. Nice job here from Funkyard. See, though, this is what I was talking about right here. Because we're able to contest a lot more stuff Phonon can do now. Oh my goodness, so much health already gone. Oh, that's CVL. Oh, they didn't cash out? 
Oh, that would be dead. Oh. It can't, oh, rebeats. And some Mika Missile shielded for the punish. Oh, what is this? Drop combos. We got those. 3C. We definitely got those. Oh. Mika sliding in to steal home base and sliding in to steal a game. 1 0 already. Now, like I was saying, some adaptations that would be pretty good on Noom's part right now is to sort of be looking out for some of those shielding habits since Phonon does lose so much grit. And basically playing around it a little bit more, seeing that there's a sort of a pattern of shielding and being able to do something about it. And there we go, once again. That, six, six, that uh, 2A chain being 6 frames makes it a lot harder for Phonon to mash out pressure. Jeez Louise. Yeah, just trying to it's... block here, trying to get some sort of space, some sort of defense, and it's just not happening. Doom is getting rolled. Yeah, it's on the and the fact that oh. Ooh, that that you can tornado to go through the fireball now. That was something else. I will I will wholeheartedly give credit with credit too. That was amazing. Oh, they didn't go for the shield break down the throw, but we finally got an offense mounted and they dropped the combo. Up. Uh, Trying to play neutral, keep him out. You does have Warper. Oh, the trade off! They can't they see. What is this? Actual bag shooting. Oh, got to keep the straight missile. Needy 6 6 c to close it out. Mm, I'll miss Needy tonight. <laughs> It was a pretty nice round, though. It looked like Noom was going to try to make that comeback there. Uh, unfortunately, they were at the life deficit, already at less than 50% health. And, you know, honestly, it was Funkyard's game. It's a lot of momentum coming from Funkyard, which is ideal for that situation, right? Mika's going to get in Phonon's face, going to blow up a lot of what Phonon's doing. Uh, it, it's going to be about Noom trying to force that game. Ooh, shield break. Force that game plan from a distance here. Uh, that worked out in the first round of the first game, so let's see uh, if Neo can make the adjustment. Push away. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, good no change up there. Nice. So we got that full screen action here. We got to make it count, though, because Neo, again, oh, and Funkyard has to make the approach. Neo should be throwing that button out just a little bit more to try to make a missile. Let him know that, hey, I'm willing to keep you contested in the space you want to be in, so you're going to have to approach me on the ground. And once you put that air option out, Mika is going to have to commit to a more forward approach and Phonon will be able to sort of still run her game. So you have to sort of put out that authority of, hey, you can't be in this spot you want to be in. And once you face that fear, ooh, good 2C to catch the button there. Oh, run up, run 3C. Mmm, tries the 63 b to catch something there. Oh, there we go on the shield break to the overhead. Now just all Noom has to do is to just sort of... Noom just technically in this situation doesn't really have to do anything because by Mimic actively blocking, he's, they're reducing the time of their good break. So in this situation where we want, where you want Mika to not be able to access grid, doing nothing... Ooh, there we go! See, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Midnight was forced to play a ground game, and Noom was able to just do their thing. They didn't have to think about it, they just sort of just let it play out naturally, and that's the key in this matchup. Noom can't sort of be forced to be smothered. Oh! Mmm, JC's plus now, I don't know how much, but still! Huh? Ooh, this special. Oh, the fuzzy setup! Huh? Oh, oh wow, big kicks. I think, the, for the times I've played Midnight, I think that is their go-to option. Yeah, it could uh, be pretty tough to react. It's one of those, like, slower, slow-ish normals where it's like you see it coming, like, and then block high, and then you just forget that you have to block high. It's and then if you will, if you, and then even if you do, a good JC. Um, even if you are willing to react to it, there's still the fact that they can cancel into it by j 63 c now. Ooh, look at all that grim man that I have to work with. Ooh. That is not gonna be easy. Okay, good. Yeah. We can missile. Oh. I mean, we can tornado. My apologies. Uh. Plus function, bring back to the ground. Nice, nice block move. here. Oh, missed the other side. <laughs> From 86 6 c Oh, it's so deadly. You hate to see it. Oh. I'm having a hard time keeping up, trying to figure out which direction you're supposed to be blocking here. 
see, and that's the scary part about Mika now, is the fact that Mika is just a speedball of energy and spat. It reminds me of my cat, to be completely honest with you. When it's like 2 in the morning, it reminds me of my cat. That is neither here nor there. What is here is that damage. Oh. Alright, what's the knockdown? Oh, maybe 16. Can we somebody just put the WWE? Can someone just put the WWE belt on Mika right now? Like, this is some WWE type stuff right now. Oh. Oh. Yep, mm. nice change shift here. Gain some space. Nice assault in. Oh, oh night. Nice. Just wake up 2A. Looking good. And that's game 3. I think. Well, that's game 4. Game 4. We, we went through 4. Whoa! That is something. It's not looking good, and honestly, Noom is going to have to try to establish that dominance of I control this space, you're not allowed to run in this area. It, it's going to be where that Phonon will be strongest instead of trying to face Mika up in her face. Uh, but if Phonon can't, you know, retain a life lead, retain a resource lead as well, like, that's going to be easier said than done. Oh, what is that? Was that was different. That was probably just some corner carry type stuff. Oh, there we go. See, that was a waste of. See, Newell is trying to contest this airspace, but in the way they're going about it, using the force function on a whim, like in that situation right there, when Mika's up and above you and you know you can just hit force function, just regular force function of Phonon, the anti air and that's good. But go taking on a gamble where Grid is your best friend in this matchup is something you cannot afford to risk. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice six for nice six force function to start the round. There's that aerial combat. Oh, see now they're trying. Now Noom is trying to contest the third hit of Mika Mister. Now I don't know if Noom knows this or not, but if you shield the last hit of Mika Mister, it's not Mika's turn anymore. Let's see if they can make that adaptation. Well, look at the setup, the situation though. Noom has that full screen advantage, has the life bar and resources. No tech on the throw though. This is gonna be a start for Funkyard here. This is gonna be some good damage with this arc. Oh! Oh boy, nice dash block here. Into the corner you go. Uh, back out of the corner. Scoops! In the words of Young Yai, it's Hagen does. Oh, 6 6 C. Oh, you hate to see it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, but no IW. See, now that's something I could be seeing a little bit more from Midnight. Midnight is trusting too much in their setups and their scramble scenarios. Spend the cash. Spend that 200 meter. Get that veil off. Get that guaranteed damage. And especially with some of the new mechanics for this game, with EX's limit, for those for those at home watching, there is, I'm going to just explain it for those who don't know what EX's limit or don't bother learning what EX's limit is. EX's limit basically is if you hit somebody after CS, during the red flag, is they gain exponentially less meter than what they would normally get. This also includes hitting somebody with CVL. If you do hit somebody with CV CVL or IW, they will gain EX limit. Therefore, you can play characters in situations that normally would be a lot tougher to get out of without meter and sort of the part of- Ooh, good JC raid there! Is looking strong into Funkyard. But, like I was trying to say, with Mika having this insane amount of offense, sort of limiting, limiting um, your um, opponent's reversal options or metered options is also strong. Ooh, the 2 A stagger to catch the field. You do not be dropping these combos like that is uh, It is getting the people with all. Okay, oh, nice. Bridge the shield. Oh, right, yeah, so we're going here, just gotta play really patient here now, just as Vorpal as well. Oh, see. Oh, nice the cancel shield, though, unfortunately. Oh. Oh, look at all this chip damage going up, but so much grid here for Funkyard. Nice. the snag Funkyard out of the air. Oh, could this be, could this be the download complete? Did Phonon say, I got your router now. I got your router. Oh. No, it might be a little too early to be telling that here. Nice blocks, unfortunately not He's blocked. The second falling button here. Oh, oh that's scary. Nice trips up here. Oh. Trying to go for the cross. Uh, you got mixed, even without knowing where you were gonna land. Oh, nice bail off here. 
to do some damage. He's about to do some damage. There we go. Yeah. Spend that cash. Get that. Get that damage. Oh man! That's at least they got the round. Yep. They are a new deficit, but in this situation right now, the Mika is definitely not out. Mm -hmm. That is for absolute. Keeping oh, that space, man. nice air to air here from Noom. Yeah, just play that full screen game because Mika has to make the approach and you're just setting up all the traps for Mika here. Okay. Oh, but was not blocking entirely though. Block the person. This is all the 660 to beat 2A. See, now that's, that's the scary part. I thought Mika Oh was no! Expected oh. the fuzzy to come out. Did not happen. Oh. Got caught low. Oh. Another drop kick. And drop oh, no. frames even while we're at it too. <laughs> The drop yeah, veil, veil off, off into veil off. Nice, got swept. Let's make this oh. count here. Oh, we're, we're playing Street Fighter Footsies now. Sweeps for you. Oh. Able to change shift here. Keep yourself oh. safe. Nice, Water. keep that distance here. Super important. Oh, oh, oh smart use of two, two, J22. I don't know if that was nice. able to see. Oh, no, not able to get oh. the conversion here yet. Change shifted. Block. See, that's 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 space. Right here. That's what space new wants. Looking good, looking real solid here. Punkyar could be really patient here. 15 seconds left on the clock. Does that to make the approach? Does it matter? Still took the round and the game here. It's game six. We're moving on to set point here for Funkyard. But really making the adaptations. Noom is slowly but surely making these adaptations. But will these adaptations matter right now? With it being so tied up, we really are gonna have to see because this is not looking the best. Okay, nice. I'm looking at them seeing more air to airs out of Noom here. Just putting more options that uh that Funkyard has to get around. Oof. Because if Funkyard is just gonna be willing to zip around the sky, then you have to like make them really think about what's gonna be the next option. Because if you have like a fireball in the way, it's important. Nice. Into the corner we go. Get mixed with another drop kick, please block high. And uh, it's what? easier said than done because, you know, that 2A just looks so misleading as well for Mika. Yeah, oh, IW for the damage. Slam it back down. Not looking pretty. This might be a Cinderella story here if Noom can mount a comeback. Comeback. Alright, back way up here. Nice jump in here. Oh. This is the start. Fireball again. Honest. Oh. Oof. That's unfortunate here. Oh, nice. the veil off the catch. Oh. Yeah, no return veil off either from Funkyard. I'm the fear. Oh, no, I, I just, I didn't even know what I just said there for a second. The JC trades. My apologies. But... See, now that was a good attempt to just. To force function and try to catch Mika out of the air due to the properties of hold on force function. The WWE is coming out tonight in full force. Somebody oh, nice. hit the Oh, the block on 16. Oh, uh, unfortunately, the drop frames might have messed that combo up here, and that could really hurt you. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's speed around. Yeah, and that's that's seven. Oh, yeah, 7 0 set for Funk Yard here over you. And of course, Noom is uh, a little bit out there, uh, I guess, like just from Texas connection to where a funk yard is. <laughs> you know, that's unfortunate. I, uh, I think funk yeah, yard's from Texas. I think that's the other way around. Is. Is. Yeah. Oh, it is? Okay, okay. We're, no, I'm saying that you're probably right. It is the other way around. Oh. Um, yeah, so that's unfortunate. And we saw, of course, you know, Noom did have some options there to shut down what Mika was doing. Uh, of course, if we would have seen uh, Phonon able to play her game and just sit out and, at distance and just keep Mika uh, from playing their game as well, uh, it would have been a more ideal situation. We, we saw it there. It's doable. It's, man, it's easier said than done when Mika's right in Phonon's face. Because what do you do at that point, right? Yeah, like I was, like I was talking about earlier, a lot of the matchup is going to dictate who can has control the pace of the match and who can control the neutral and grid game the most. And it was right. just, Esquire said, "Forget that, I'm going straight forward." 
Yeah, honestly, on paper, you would think that uh, that Phonon would be able to control the neutral there and able to get the uh, the grid advantage. Uh, but of course, with the with as nutty as Mika can be as far as uh, movement options, and that it's just something that you know is a lot easier said than done. Like, she's so quick too, especially like zip rocketing around. Like, which direction do you block? I don't know. I hope I'm guessing right. Yeah, it's. Else. Yeah, well, that was a great set. Of course, we have one more set for you folks tonight here. We definitely have Argon Ross showing up here with Waldstein. And of course, Hygister. Hygister? 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 We're going too far. <laughs> Anyways, we got a chaos <laughs> out here. Things are definitely going to be chaotic. No pun intended. And why would you say that? Why would you say that? You know you why would insinuate I... that there's a pun if you say there's no pun intended. Now there is a pun. You see, now you're, there's only a pun if you make it a pun. You said it! But... You know what? You're right. <laughs> I meant I meant every second of that pun. Alright. Well, of course, uh, this is going to be another interesting matchup. <laughs> a Waldstein versus a Chaos. Uh, of course, you Waldstein players out there, you're all crazy. Every last one of you. I can't trust any of you. You, you come up with the wildest shenanigans. And what? then, of course, we have the Chaos players out there. The the thinking player's character. The thinking man's. See, now let me tell you something right now. No offense to any wall scene player, but they might just be Amish. Because the way some of them churn butter... Mind-boggling. Or maybe they took up techniques from a uh, high score girl. The way she does the little SPDs, man. She flicks the oh, stick. You, like, you right? Bro. You right? It's insane. Crazy. If I call somebody to do that, like, you know what? <laughs> you, you, that's all you. That's your dub. Someone all needs right. to fix the stick right now. The spring in it is broken. That's what I would say. So, um, real quick. Early match predictions real quick. If Argentine gets in, it is his ballpark. Okay. Yeah. And because Wald's long reaching buttons to smack Ozzy out of them, they might not be the slowest, they might be not be the fast. Ooh. And it begins. Oh, nice staggers in the two hour one. Oh, the JC. Uh, uh, uh. It's going to be really tough here for uh, Chaos to just challenge jump ins from Waldstein here. I would like to think that 60 is definitely an option for uh, Chaos, but oh, man, the Waldstein body splash is terrifying. Oh, this is, this is really going to hurt. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Already. Oh. Oh, oh. He's dead here after this. Yep, doesn't even need to spend the reader. Argon starting with a perfect. Yeah, and then what a tough situation to be stuck in a corner against a Waldstein without any grid to help you out. Nice oh. assault jump in here. We're gonna get the big damage. Oh, still... oh, 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 just care. about to say Ozzy is still out on the field, and I was horribly wrong. Nice. Good throw punish there. Oh! The no read! Are you serious? The chase is around and snatched chaos out of the sky. This man said. Oh, what? What? These are some shenanigans. This is more one. Right. I, I like. I like. I like the uh, report of uh, some shenanigans you want. Oh, oh, set up. Oh, Hyde, Hyde Clear said the gloves are off. I need to bail off right now, and it's still not stopping this Waldstein onslaught. And then Argon, and then Argon sent him off with the first with the first round win. How many off puns are we gonna make in like a, a single in a single game? Let's find out. Oh, um, you can make any off puns? What, the, what is happening? <laughs> Everything. And then so. Oh, nice jump over the Ozzy. Staggers. Nice rebeat. Oh. Nice. Summoning Ozzy out here. That's what you need to do. Get your Digimon out. Make him fight this beast of a man. Okay, <laughs> Ross. Waldstein is the Digimon. He doesn't need nobody else. Waldstein is Ooh, blue. Oh, dash up SPG. They're great. So like, oh, nice force function to get out of that Waltz special, but it doesn't matter. C has A, 360A, the snag him out of that. Ooh! This is, this is unfair. This is 
completely unfair because Argenross is here seeing within the frames the the smallest of openings to scoop the small child into oblivion. Argen is going to make this right now. I, I, that has to be the answer right now because I got scooped. I, I won't even lie to you. Oh, nice fuzzy. Ooh, nice well to catch him. Ruby. Yeah. Shift Ooh, with nice the out there. yeah, I like that a whole lot too to keep Argon Ross blocking. That's gonna be super important. Nice challenge. Oh. And Argon Ross has grid. Now, I know this happens once in the blue moon. Oh, I, I should have said anything. And it's oh, good. Nice. <laughs> oh, nice use of pressure. Mm. See, see, the jump back was for all oh, the Ozzy buttons. As Argonauts went or something there. Oh, nice. Ozzy is just cooking Argonauts right now. Yikes. Nice oh, bit. Nice. Right back to the here. Okay. Oh, buddy. Nice. That was scary. Oh, uh, oh but no need to close it out. Mm -hmm. See, Argonauts could play this one a little slow. But oh. I I'm so scared, don't put any gaps in here! Oh my goodness, because I'm waiting for- Oh! The oh, assault! Not enough damage, look how much time is on the clock, you don't have enough time to get all the damage in- OH! oh never mind. No! no. 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 Commentator's curse is flying left and right. This is definitely a war zone, folks. But honestly, I gotta commend Argon Ross' knowledge in this matchup. He's obviously on display here, finding every gap, able to make the throws here happen. Ooh, but nice trade and EG's confirmed. I can't find the word there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, back. Back. Yeah. That was that was slick. Oh, there you go. Oh, new buttons here. I'm gonna catch him off the guard. The fail off. Got to block. Yep. Oh my goodness. No more drift for you. Oh. Ooh. Can't roll away quite yet. Here, that's such a deep button from the sky. Oh, oh, this, this this oh no, no, no IW. Okay. okay. Oh, 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 <laughs> no, no super move. Rock. Oh, nice oh. reset. Yeah. Catch a match. Yeah, it, you know what? It made a uh, hijister press a button there. Hide your clear. Hinge Hinge Jurgen. I don't know. I apologize, chat. Um, I'm so, happy is it, I think this. that it? What? <laughs> Back to the match. Oh. Look at this chaos just throwing Digimon at him. Looking like the main oh, character of the Digimon bro. World game. Oh, what's this? Ooh, that was that was a little fancy. That was that was a little fancy. I like it. I like it. Oh, but all those bugs. Ooh, what? Here we go, look at this! Look at- oh! And the CS to steal the meter at the last second. I like that. I like that a lot. Really? Oh, uh, well, here he likes. Good JC into the confirm. Oh, back dashes to keep the corner as far back as they were. That's still the corner for Argus. Not for Argus, for Wald. Yeah, unfortunately, Ooh. Chaos didn't really have a whole lot of options there. Doing the chain shift in the sky was just... You were you were already in the sky. You were done. Whatever Wall's team was doing, it's game over from that point. Now... Argon step in the corner. Oh, but not for long! Oh, the buns. Some good, strong old buns. Uh, oh, uh, keep the corner. Oh, what's, now what's the setup? PG could just switch to veil off here, or shoot. Actually, that was a really good chain shift there, because you could recognize immediately if the button was active or not, thanks to the changes in Uniclear. Yikes, you are already committed. You're going to get dunked. This might kill. It does. Slam Jam City. Put in the cartridge in the Super Nintendo. That's what just happened. <laughs> Super Nintendo, oh no! Alright, this guy is good. Overall, what I really like what he's doing right now is he's checking a lot of these buns that Argonaut wants to throw out and sort of making attempts to second guess his decisions. But Argon just does not care. Oh, is out there. Ooh, good shield break on the 5A stagger and the 360A. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Stop into double circles. Alright, let's set up here. No good. Oh, the whiff 
but all you can't see he sort of needs to realize that Argon has shown that he he or they are very I'm all over the place. They are very aware of any force function shenanigans Chaos wants to sort of throw out Ooh, three seconds start the round, trying to get a read on that. But like I was saying, Arjun Ross has shown knowledge of a lot of the Chaos shenanigans that he wants to commit to. So honestly, when it comes to this force function stuff he's trying to do, he needs to slow down. He needs to stop, he needs to take a breather, and he really needs to think about what he's doing. He's a not nice. see. See, this is where oh, Hydra yes. actually excels. This corner set play here with uh, Ozzy. Nice. Throw him back into the corner here. There's nowhere for Argon Ross to run when Chaos is out there in the corner. Oh, oh nice. Oh, the back out of the sky. You got a lot of jump. No. Oh, that's going to kill him. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. That was, that was actually that was. Really I good lost fight. track of chaos. Wall's deep jump. Wall's deep arm oh, covered oh. chaos. And chaos, where you going, bud? Smacked him right back down where he belonged in the corner. Yeah. Some footsies going on here. Dash up throw. All right, wake uh, up. SP. Wake up 368. I will be a good old three frame command grab. Nice. Uh 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 uh. Buttons. We like those. Ooh, Ooh the tier of oh, oh, this boss. Yeah, nice forward uh, tech here. Uh, uh, cross. Oh, get the reset. Oh, tries to commit to 360 B. Uh, just throws them anyway. Because we don't care. Because it hurts. Nice, keep him at bay. Ozzy's out at front here. Now we gotta be careful because Argonross has definitely punished these Ozzy uses pretty consistently here. Ooh, Here we go. Oh, he, got me. oh, he committed thinking he was gonna win the round, but he timed it by just a second. You hate to see what that happens. Nice. I love the side switch here. Gotta be careful with these staggers, though. Argonross is not Ooh. afraid to make the throw happen. Yikes, there it is. No sooner than I say it. And it just happened. Right? Good shield really good block. Oh, oh, the Ozzy lunge to catch the assault. Yeah, good decision That's for it. Hydra just to back off after they noticed the shield uh, from one of the normals there. Ooh. But they committed a little bit too much there and got caught left. Oh, and he catches the back there. Strong play from Argon here. Oh, and the reset. Oh, this might be death. This might. Oh, it's next game. Oh, that's just that. Okay, you know what? That that's just that. Four O Argon. Woo! We got some strong sets tonight. I'm yeah, feeling good about it. It's pretty terrifying to fight off against a wall team. Like, oh, it can be. Ooh. Nice caught low. You had to guess twice. That was a throw into low. What's next? Ozzy is going to take the field. Oh, no, I was terrified. Ooh, I thought a gap jump in there for sure. The jump back shield. That was actually a very smart decision on Argon's part. Not wanting to take the 50 50 mix up and just goes to commit to win the cycle. Oh! No tech You know what? That's cheap. That's, you gotta kill a colored character. Cheap. We can't see when we can break it. Alright, tell that to Fox over real quick. He'll agree with you, but still. Monsters. <laughs> I see you're doing Grand Blue Fantasy out here. Oh. See, now this is the situation he did. Now this is not the situation. Oh, okay. I thought I thought that Daisy had killed Ozzy there for a second. I don't want to say that. That's not the situation he didn't want to be. Nice fireball to keep you on the ground. So, Ooh, oh, Assault J.A. Oh, that's 360 CC. <laughs> Alright. Charge that Vorpal, get your whole side. Put yourself at the center of the screen, but good shield from the Alright, you get there. Um, we, I'm still gonna need like, some pronunciation for the here and there. Um, oh, the good bell off Argon. Is this gonna see a, be a monkey juice kind of situation? Oh, mm. yeah, I see what he was, I see what was yeah. thinking for that. Honestly, just running away is like super important in this situation right now. Yikes, just jump! Oh, never mind, I was wrong! He tried to, he tried to go for it. 
the shenanigans. I, oh man. I was horrified for a second. I was gonna scream. That's, that's, I was that's scared. A pretty, that's, like, that's a horror movie situation right there. But no else is scary? Won't see with all this damage, 15 seconds on the clock, and you get access to CV, but you can't commit. And there's nine seconds. Oh. I don't even know what just happened there. So Got caught. Oh, the game of course happened there. Ooh, nice use of the meter to catch Walt Steen with buns. Taking it. He just nice took the fact that Chaos has a lot faster buttons than Walt Steen. He can challenge a lot of those redeems while Walt Steen has to commit for it. But, yeah, ooh, oh boy. Dude, Honestly, Argonroth is hit by. Argonroth has been getting hit pretty consistently as the set goes on with these assaults here and just. Ooh, that staggered. Nice, right, so we got one point on the board finally for Hedgester. Hedgester. Looking... Leap Erickson there? We can't, we can't keep running this bit. This bit has to end. We'll call him high. All right, high. So, you know, oh, this man said, you stay in the corner. It's mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. Staying back out of the corner. Oh, nice block. Ooh, actually. Yeah. You see that? Like, it's crazy. Such a good option. Nice! Hey, you know what's you know what's crazy? Now that you just bring it up, Zero? Yeah, this is 660 matches the training stage background. That's that's no one's fault here. That, that is everyone's fault. That, that's, 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 like just, saying, just, that's like saying Green Shield matches the background of the stage. Come on. You know what? That, well, we're gonna complain about color situations. I, I'm I'm just gonna be the one talk about the old. Oh, nice! Another one right there. Anti air. I keep saying six and two, six. Thank you very much. Oh, really good bond. It's really interesting to see that uh, as the set goes on, we see Hygister is making. Like, just getting more hits in in general. Like, Argonroth's defense just is declining as time goes on. So, how long can he hold out against the Walt team here? Well, well, and here's the thing, too. Argon has the game, the rounders. Right. So, in his decision making, he can sort of say, he can sort of steer some fuel. Like, he can right. sort of. Yeah. He can go autopilot. Well, not as much as autopilot as he should. I this should be IW right here. I think better. Uh, Argon Ross could take more risks right now because of yeah, the Argon. Argon can take more risks and he can sort of try out some new things and see how I reacts to specific options. That's fairly smart on Argon's part, and sometimes players tend to forget that it's a battle of attrition. So whatever you gotta do to save up on some of that energy. Do what you gotta do. If it means you gotta play a little differently just to save up on that mental strength, do it. It is a two-game difference right now. That can that can that can change very quickly. But Argon's storing some in the tank right now. So when it matters the most, he can use that energy. That's when it matters. A good increase JC catching him twice now. Ooh, whipping some buns here. I don't know if it looks like that is, but... Nice throw see, here. Easy overcommitting there, costing him to cycle a little bit. Sure, he wants to be getting Waltz in his face and sort of make him scared, but remember, this is just another one of those matches, another one of those sets where Warple and CS will determine the pace of the match. Oh, nice. And destroying Ozzy. That, that, that is an indefinite another one. Oh! You cash out that damage. No reset here. Oh, what's the situation? Oh, tries to go for a meaty. Oh, good back dash. Catches him with JB. Trying to catch him with 16. Not happening here. Nice air to air. Be a nice hefty chunk of. Oh, never mind. Ooh. But caught the back dash. So strong, but... Yeah, it's not your turn quite yet here. You're gonna take a happy chunk. He doesn't drop it, never mind. Let's get something started. Watch the gaps, though. 
I say that though, and as time goes on, again, you do notice, yeah, Argonauts gets opened up more and more as time goes on. Another grid break for him here. Yeah. But like I was talking about earlier, Argon doesn't really have to do much because you're rewarded on defense when you're grid broken by your grid storm faster. So sitting there and blocking these six with all the belly flop from the deep! The Loch Ness Monster! Oh, that's the kill. That is the kill. This man's... <laughs> Waldstein said, I'm gonna take up some Olympic diving classes and I'm gonna splash in there real quick. That was sick. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no. In the corner, uh, still here, which is really nice. Oh, I'm kind of tall here this time. Lots of shields 50. coming up from Arkan Ross here. Looking really strong with a healthy, healthy grid lead. That's what you want to see in this situation. Easy with Veil off situation. Oh, he's taking use of some of those strong buttons. Oh, tries the 3C. Does 3C catch our W? I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to check that out. Oh, yeah, trying to go nice for side spot. I'm not trying to guess which side I'm going to block here. Let's just bail off, get rid of you. Ooh, oh, good staggers. Oh, whoop. Yep, oh, big scoop there. Oh, I thought you were going to go for IW. Or here. Oh, nice bun to snipe Ozzy. And now we're looking at a comfy grid lead for Argon. But... Nah, I hope he lets lead, but he's bringing it back with about 17 seconds on the clock. Oh, that overhead! So smooth. How are you just putting him up? Oh, wow! Assault into throw! We take those. Shield here. Rapplers don't care. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, nice careful. Micro dash and the SPD. We take those. Oh, good bail off. Looking really solid right now. Ooh. See now that's that's one of the crazy things about this matchup. How easy Waltzing can just smack out and just get rid of him on the spot. Nice bounce off the wall. We're gonna get a carry combo here. Corner carry. Ooh, Ooh nice good jump out. Strong Next. reaction. Big hefty chunk of damage here into chain shift. Oh. Combo further. Not death yet. Nice veil off. This is. This is the scariest part about Waldstein right yeah. here. Oh, oh this! Oh, <laughs> this is a train wreck. Oh man, this is... I can't believe oh, it. What? what the... I so... can't believe it. I that... almost feel like a Jister was trying to do an EX, and it just did not happen, and ended up chain shifting to carry <laughs> higher into the sky. Cause you know when you like see a train accident, like post on yeah. like as a video, and you just so you want to look away, but you. Can't. That's what just happened. Argy just came in swinging and stole the entire. Whoa, 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 whoa. That. Who was that? Whip? That was something else. Oh, wow. Yep. Way to whiff punish using Ozzy here. Keeping the full screen advantage. Nice. Caught low. Corner carry. Let's not repeat the same mistake last time here. Yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Wicked DP, we don't care about those. No more jumping for you. Oh, 6 6 C yeah. in the CS play. Chooses the back dash this time. Interesting choice. Texas throw. Ooh! Ar Argon don't want to do push ups today. And that's going to be a round. Mm -hmm. You're really strong right now. Oh, oh, nice. oh. Confirmed. Do some damage. Oh, 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 wow. Able to jump oh, 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 See, now this is just, the best part about this set right now, this has been a battle of snowballing. Whoever can keep that snowball going, 
wins the match indefinitely. It's crazy how Snowball Heavy just says that. Ooh! It's my turn on the Xbox! Oh, nice J2C to catch him again. And Creek J2C. Bring him back down to old. Reality check into the reset, plus frames. Oh, nice force function. Oh, our team probably wanted 360C there or something of the sort. Looking real good. Wow, Ooh. nice. Got the RS. Shield break. Still again. Oh, I love the chase. I'm not able to get the conversion, though. Gotta be careful here. Nice. Caught low here. Back down. Really solid. Oh, what's the guess? <gasps> oh. Not like that, though. Here we go. Another gap. Now this is going to do some damage. Guess again. No. Oh. Almost. Now you gotta guess. Uh, I wonder, is he gonna go? Oh! Is it, oh. That, was, that was probably a failed SPD right there. It's probably what that was. Got the chain shift into 6C. 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 Chain shift is so nasty. It's such a really good bar in here, especially in this matchup. Ooh, speaking of 6, 6, 6, you need to catch him. Uh oh, veil yeah. off. This is not a situation you want to be in right now. Oh, ooh, good situational awareness, understanding that he has the entirety of the nice throw. entirety of the good cycle. Ooh, good throw. Mm, real solid right now. Oh, the important here has the grid advantage. Hardy Ross is just waiting for uh -oh. grid to come back. Not able to get the conversion 6C though. Not, again, another conversion miss, but this time another opening for my Jister here. Might be able to wrap this up. Uh, not uh, enough yet. Very close. This, nice. This, this oh, is the scary just, part. That's such a big risk to just go wall scene space. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, a nice good guard thrust good. here. Yeah, good choice out. of guard thrust right there. Oh, that's a, that is a very situation. Oh, oh, why is it? Yikes! This is gonna be a huge chunk. Of, oh, block. oh, oh my the god! Reset. The reset. What is this, Marvel? What is this? Oh wait, that's a throw. Oh, a throw. Oh, throw. My bad. Decision making right now from Argon is crazy. Oh, nice negative edge there. Uh, buns. Argon winning grid. Into the corner. What's the setup? With the button. It's trying the overhead. Nice. Mm. Please get off me. I want my space. Nice but call out on the bail off. Over. What a this read. This is still a very scary situation though because Argue was still in the recovery of CES. Though, thus, because of Veil off hitting him, he's nice. automatically out of that situation and his grid's not broken. Right. Go, nice. What's the setup? <gasps> You're already in the oh. air. Oh no, you can't empty jump here yet. What a read from Argue. Oh. Okay, time to guess again. No grid advantage here for Hegister. Oh, a lot of damage oh, coming your way. Guess again. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Got him, jeez. I love when Wald Steam players just do 3C and. Oh, that was seven games? Yeah. Oh. I can't believe. <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness! I lost track of time! Oh my lord, those were some sets! Oh! That was fantastic! Alright, now I know I was caught up a lot in that set, but let me, let me just say some real things real quick, because I didn't really like analytically break this set down. The main, the deciding factor, who dare, <laughs> this is gonna sound so cheesy, please hear me out, he who dares win. They both had to commit their, to very specific options that would allow them to get the upper edge. They were very specific to the point where you wouldn't think they'd work. However, Argon put on display that they're willing to take these risks and just sort of put that fear in Hiji that they don't want to take those anymore. But then once they got out of that shell, once they realized I can make these risks and they'll work, 
that's when the game just was taken to another level, and they both just started going back and forth with these risks, rewards, punishes, reactions, and just Argon's ability, Argon's ability to just sort of enforce the fact that, and I kept saying it, it's my turn on the Xbox. Once Argon starts, once he gets that control, it is their turn until it, they say it's their turn, which is probably never in a world scene case. Unless you get out, which he did a good job of using force function to escape. Got clipped a couple times, don't get me wrong. It wasn't perfect, but it was still an excellent showing of a very, very, well not, I wouldn't say the toughest matchup Waltz has, but it's a pretty tough matchup. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it was a nice back and forth. Excellent knowledge from both players there. Like I was saying, as time went on, the defense kind of was going down and down at Argon Ross's end though. Like it, it seemed like he was very much into it at the beginning and either Hydroclear added something to their gameplay to open up Argon Ross more or just the defense just declined over time. Maybe it was like that that big risk factor, like you said, uh, he who dares wins. Uh, maybe that's just what it is. Like, you know what, I can take a few hits, I guess. Uh, but it, it was definitely evident that there were some things that Argon Ross was blocking initially that over time just was not um, being blocked uh, towards the end of the set. But, you know, obviously the damage was there. I mean, sure, you can get hit three, four, five times, but if it only takes two hits to kill your opponent, by all means, uh, that's all you need. And another, that's a very excellent point. The health, the health difference between Chaos and World Steam, it's like throwing a, a boulder at a glass window. Well, I mean, Chaos has to commit to all these things, but once World Steam just hits, gets a good counter hit in, you saw the damage that did. It was, it was astonishing. Waldstein does literally throw rocks at people, so I mean, they, there is that factor. <laughs> so, but honestly, and that's the thing too with like grapplers in general, right? Like, sure, like grapplers take hits, but I mean, it, it's because of that damage that they do that they can take those hits, right? Like, mm -hmm. you, you see it all the time in classic fighting games, so just in, including this one as well, where like the grappler character to get in is going to have to lose some health to do it, but once they're in, that hit counts, and th that's super important there. Uh, it it's good to show patience when you are a grappler character, or just be a complete nut <laughs> if you are like uh, Waldstein players sometimes can be, but it it's fantastic. Um, but yeah, a great set between Hydroclear and uh, Argon Ross. Uh, of course, Neum and Funkyard as well. Uh, good job, awesome, awesome sets today. Um, I, I had a great time, thanks for stopping by everybody that showed up. I'm glad to be back on the mic for you. Uh, another recurring void effect. Glad to be with you, Noctis. That's been awesome. Yeah, it's it's been a hot minute. It's been a pretty hot minute. And it's my first time on RVE. Let me tell you, I had a blast. I, I had a fantastic time watching some sets, commentating some very high-end matches. I just overall, I enjoyed it. I don't think if I could just sit back and think about the highlights of my day this is definitely a highlight of my day being able to <laughs> commentate and talk with friends and talk to people i haven't spoken to in a very long time and especially sort of get close to people even with this quarantine going around around i can speak the um <laughs> it's just i miss you i'm i miss you on the night community and there's a lot of things that were impacted because of this COVID-19 virus. And RVE is just one of those things that just brings us all together. And that's like my favorite thing is I get to interact with people and sort of talk with players that I don't really get the chance to talk with. And I'm talking to these players right now as a commentator. And that's super cool. That is so awesome to me because I get to just sort of express my love about Undernight. Undernight's the main game that brought me into the FGC scene. And I just want to keep trailblazing with it, you know? It's just something that I just, I'm very passionate about. If you guys haven't figured out from the amount of, oh, no, and just a bunch of crazy noises that came out of my mouth. Well, you do have a big heart for the game. We do greatly appreciate it. Just like how we appreciate every single one of you that tuned in. Of course, if you're not following Recurring Void Effect, you may as well do so now while you're here. If you have Amazon Prime, you also have Twitch Prime. So feel free to use that free Twitch Prime subscription to help out the Recurring Void Effect channel. Um, you can also follow them on Twitter uh, at RVE underscore uni. Uh, and also feel free to follow the players as well. That was on the splash screen earlier. It's also on the Twitter account. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we don't have anything to announce for next week just yet. No uh, ad for you here right now. Um, so there, stay tuned. Pay attention to the Twitter page. We'll get more updates for you there. Uh, for now, uh, I'm Zero. You can follow me on Twitter at Zero Syndicate. Anything you want to throw in there, Noctis? Well, sort of same here thing here. It's been Noctis talk with you. It's been a good day. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Noctis Dreams. I post a lot of shenanigans involving Gordo. And that, that's sort of the highlight of my Twitter. Um, other than that, um, feel free to shoot me a message. I don't bite. But um, other than that, I don't really get that much to add. Also, stay safe, people. It's, it's scary out there. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know about you. But I just, like, I've been looking. I've been looking a little shooketh out there, like, every now and then. Like, it's crazy. This COVID stuff is no joke, guys. Seriously. I, I, I might joke about it a little bit, but seriously, guys, stay safe. No matter what you do or what you're doing, if you're working from home or not, stay safe. Keep your loved ones close. Do what you gotta do. Anyway, this has been Reoccurring Void Effect. I'm Noctis. Once again, you can follow me live at Noctis Streams. And my buddy Zero over here, you can close this out. Alright, that's all we got for you guys. Later days. Later.